Good morning. It's Tuesday, January 31st, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, That Grass on the Other Side, and our scripture is Psalm 37. The wicked draw their swords and string their bows to kill the poor and the oppressed, to slaughter those who do right. But their swords will stab their own hearts, and their bows will be broken. It's better to be godly and have little than to be evil and rich. For the strength of the wicked shall be shattered, but the Lord takes care of the godly. The old adage about greener grass on the other side of the fence could not be more reliable. For years, I have driven past a goat farm near our home. I cannot begin to estimate how often I have seen both old and young of the flock with necks straining through the fence to get that luscious green grass on the other side. It works that way for human goats, too. Those who are poor dream about the green grasses in the land of the rich. It's the reason lottery tickets sell. Flip that coin and you'll find the rich wondering what it would be like to live more simply without the stress of having to protect their wealth from potential thieves. Both sides of that fence imagine a carefree life of ease on the fence's other side. But more often you find the rich unable to resist the temptation to get richer on the sore backs of those in poverty. And so it has gone since the Garden of Eden. Jesus warned about the trap of letting money or the desire for that greener grass lifestyle take the place of godliness, which is a life building others up instead of storing up for selfishness sake. Paul picked up on that theme and instructed his young protege Timothy to teach contentment. It does not surprise me that God came to us in a lowly manger and was content, whether in the company of the rich movers and shakers, or those who were impoverished, destitute of the world's goods, and no prospect for getting more. He knew the riches of glory in heaven with Yahweh. He knew and had the power of the universe by his word in creation, but he laid it all aside to be poor for us. Jesus gave John a warning message for those who thought they had it made, as well as for those who think having what the rich had would put them in that elite group of carefree livers of the good life. It's found in Revelation chapter 3. You say, I'm rich, I have everything I want, I don't need a thing, and you don't realize that you're wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. So I advise you to buy gold from me, gold that has been purified by fire, then you will be rich. Also buy white garments from me, so you will not be shamed by your nakedness, an ointment for your eyes, so you will be able to see. I correct and discipline everyone I love, so be diligent and turn from your indifference. For you today. Whether you are rich as the upper class comes or living nervously on food stamps and thrift store cast-offs, that grass on the other side of the fence only looks greener. What God gave you, a soul with His image stamped on it, is your true wealth and worth, and it is without price unless you decide to sell it to this world's highest bidder. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.